Hi everybody, this is Coach Doc Cindy and I am going to give you some information on procrastination because there's a lot of myths about it and my cat just decided to, to chime in here too. You know, I have just literally presented this information to some students so I am going to give you some information that I included in a PowerPoint for them and I'll read you exactly how I had it. So the myths around procrastination, the first myth, pro the <laughs> procrastination can be a good thing. Okay, that's myth number one. So if you think about procrastination, you know, it's putting or posting, uh, proposed Owning something till the next day but the reality is you know tomorrow is considered this whole neverland where all production and motivation and achievement are stored so like this mystical land of tomorrow is not is not a good thing so the difference is the gap between doing something and having the intention to do it so you're completely in control it's voluntary um, you delay despite knowing that you're putting it off so all procrastination is is a delay but not all delay is procrastination so we need to remember that and I would say that you need to definitely um, think about these myths so myth number two procrastination is a time management problem and if you think about you know procrastination isn't about time it's literally you log in and expose the discrepancy between your intention and your action it's more a fallacy about planning for procrastinators, you expect a greater amount of time to do something than it actually takes to do it. And you just need to buckle down and do it. It's like the gap between doing it and not doing it is your will to let that happen. Myth number three, it's not a big deal, only a few all-nighters. I hear this from students all the time. You know, the cost of procrastination uh, research shows is um, performance, your well-being, your health, your relationships, um, your regrets. You have all this um, ill will with yourself for doing this later than instead of doing it earlier. Myth number four, perfectionists are procrastinators. And I have to say, that's really an unrealistic expectation. It doesn't, it's, it's not a personality thing. Um, there is not one nature. It's all goes down to self-control and willpower. So procrastinators tend to have a little bit more negative self-talk. So myth number five, I'll just check my email. It'll only take a minute. You create your little avoidance things. You know, what I tell my students and what I try to work on is I earn those things. I have to earn by getting some of my work done Then I earn going on my email, I earn going on social media, I earn my time pockets because I work in these pockets of time. Number six, um, your motivation needs to actually equal the task that, that, that's at hand and so you don't feel motivated so you put it off to tomorrow and it really is nothing is worth putting off to tomorrow why wait 
go ahead and get your work done. It'll make tomorrow actually a better day because you don't have to do it. And that's been a brunt of a lot of jokes and cartoons and people talking about always put off to tomorrow what you could have done today. Well, the difference is do today so that you have tomorrow. And practice trying to get better at just going for it. And the seventh myth is that old adage, I work better under pressure. I work better under the deadline. I literally had students telling me this about their final paper. I work better under pressure. I work better under the deadline. You know, we push against deadlines. We, we, we do push, you know, we, there's tension and we need to release the tension as the reward for completing something. And so what I've done is I've even told my students, and I teach this in my time management, that I challenge you to cut your deadline in half and get it done in half the amount of time so that you have that cushion, you have that free. So in your mind, make your deadline before so that you're not putting things off. You know, it's not that you work better under pressure. You know, some people say, I only work under pressure. And that's not good. It's, it's your, your mind is not working the same. So you need to work on how you decide to take on these different challenges. Making the choice to get things done is yours. Making the choice to act on something is yours. So procrastination is has a lot of myths around it and it is not 100% understood and there's a lot of people that don't even acknowledge that they procrastinate. So check out my uh, blog, watch for the next ones, uh, check out my time management group. There's a link in my blog for my time management group and I can get that going and thanks for joining me and keep watching and keep making your morning yours.